Hello, this is Patrick with Colonial RV in Lakewood, New Jersey. Check this out. This is an all new 2015 Road Track Zion on the Ram Promaster chassis. It's a front wheel drive V6 gasoline engine. It's 20 foot 11 inches from the front bumper to the back bumper. And it's 9 foot 5 inches tall from the ground to the top at AC. Has Thule power steps to gain access to the cab area. Heavy duty commercial grade front seats. Three point shoulder harness built right into the seat and these are swivel seats and they also collapse uh, up in an easier position so you could recline, uh, spin it around. We also have plenty of leg room in the cab area. Little cup holder, glove box, storage area, and there's even another storage up top. Plenty of tread here on the step. Pocket in the, the door. And a little cup holder in the door as well. Outside LED porch light. Tall sliding entry door. Very large step to get inside. It's got a low floor because it's a front wheel drive vehicle. There's no tunnel to worry about for the drive shaft and rear axle. I have an electrical outlet that will work off of your generator and it'll also work off of shore power. You have a USB port and a 12 volt charge port as well. Electrical outlet here by the entry door. Very big opening. Accordion screen. Plenty of ground clearance. Road track added these skirts here just to hide some of the systems that are there. Aluminum rims. Another uh, porch light. And then the awning on board is a power awning. And uh, you just press the button here to bring it, the awning out and turn the battery on first. Awning switch here. Once you get it out, your desired size, you could drop the legs and you could stake these into the ground and lift the awning up and then you're able to lock these in place. Or you could slip it in to the clip here on the body and adjust your height that way. So if you're on pavement, you can't spike it into the ground, you'll have to put it into one of these clips here. And then the stored awning, this just goes back up in its holder. And there's a little washer here that holds it in place. Just lock your clamp back down. Bring it in. It really helps shade the van when you're parked at a campground or if you're doing some tailgating. have a smoke detector and all your controls here by the entry door. So you have the battery disconnect to turn on and off the battery system, patio light, you could turn the inverter on and off, water pump, uh, and you can also monitor your, your tanks as well. This model doesn't have uh, a gasoline generator, it has an underhood generator. Also powered rear air conditioning and microwave off the inverter. There's a wide van, wider than the Mercedes Sprinter platform. Doors open up all the way up high. And they also have a double hinge so they can swing around out of your way. 
This model has the rear screen kit, which is stored inside currently. This piece will stay here permanently, and then you could zip in the insect screen in the back. This little storage area here with the power cord and the jack and tools for changing the tires. And then each one of these drawers, the hardware, one on each side. You can see the edge grain of the plywood here. It's not particle board. Very wide open area in the back. You could load a small kayak or a stand-up paddle board as well as a mountain bike in the back here. Has a high mount backup camera. Above that, we have your TV antenna. The back here, we have your shore power, engine exhaust, four, flat four, and seven way for trailer towing, the hitch, propane tank. Turn the propane on and off from here. You also have a quick disconnect if you wanted to add an auxiliary grill. And we have your city water connection all here at the back of the coach. Little sensors here in the back bumper. The back door, they have a pocket built in for the dining table. It just slides straight up out of the pocket. Dining table could go either here in the back or all the way up front because the cab chairs both swivel. Color's beautiful on this one. If I was to back this up, I could fit the whole van into a regular parking spot. So it's very convenient if you're going to drive it as a daily vehicle. In this lockable compartment, we have the waste gate and we also have the waste hose here. Furnace exhaust, the water heater. It's a tankless water heater. And then there's an outside utility shower with hot and cold water. By the driver's door. Very easy to gain access to get inside with the large step, large power step, and a large opening here. You have your macerator pump discharge button here as well. And then you could also open up the fuel door here. There's a potable water tank fill here for the 36 gallon fresh water tank. Got a hood release. And lots of leg room up front here. Many different adjustments on the seat for angle up and down the back. And you also have a lumbar built into the seat as well. Power windows, power locks. Under the hood, most of your uh, items that you need access to, like the radiator, fluid, oil dipstick, washer fluids, easy to get access to. But it is gorgeous. I'm very happy with the color we picked. It's a metallic finish, as well as the way that road track dressed it up. Up here on the roof, we have the solar charging system. You can see the fan in the galley, as well as the air conditioning. And then there's accessory guides here for uh, different type of uh, rack systems that are available for the ProMaster chassis that you could utilize as well. Take a step inside and see what else is in here. To turn the lights on, you just press each one individually.
air conditioning and furnace control are here. This is a power folding bed. There's three seat belts on this side. And then this side, there's a board that slides out. I'm just gonna slide the cushion for now. And this fills the gap. You have almost a queen size bed in the back here. And then there's reading lights over each seated position, as well as an electrical outlet, USB and 12 volt charge port. Shades work very well. So this is just a regular shade. This side has a shade and an insect screen because this window here opens as well. So you have an insect screen for the opening windows and they're tinted windows as well. You have another electrical outlet, USB and 12 volt port, speaker in the back. Plenty of aisle space here. You have uh, two drawers on this side. You have four big drawers on this side. This is the Blu-ray DVD player. You have storage above the television and Blu-ray, which are plugged into this outlet. You have your antenna booster, cable, satellite, and 12 volt charge port. And the hardware keeps the cabinet open. And then this will lock this piece, which slips over here, so to keep the cabinet door shut when you're driving. You could clip these and also have half screen, half shade if you wanted to. This is a brand name premium Samsung TV. It's on an articulating wall bracket. So you could bring it around and swing it around so you can see it from the driver passenger's chair as well as center it when you're in the bed. There's a wardrobe, the hang wardrobe rod, and then the leg for the table for the rear or front is here. It's got a thread in piece in the bottom that sticks into the hole. Once you get it in, you spin it in place, and that will lock the table leg in place. And then all you need to do is remove the rear table from the back door, slip that on. You have plenty of overhead storage over the beds. We have the solar controller built in here. Small uh, microwave. Two burner cooktop with spark ignition. Dometic sink with foldable faucet, glass lid. We have a leaf extension here. So once you prep the food, you can put it here. You have the door open. You can pass food outside to your other guests. Storage below the sink. Silverware drawer. Some more storage. And this is not particle board. This is all plywood with uh, uh, a vinyl sticker applied, so grips. Very large drawer here, full extension in the galley. This is the furnace. We have here an access panel for water heater controls as well as the bypass for the water heater for winterization. LP leak detector. This also has a slide out pantry. There's a little lip here so things don't fall out when you slide it out. You have a fantastic fan in the galley, has a remote control, also has a rain sensor built into it, and a quick release screen. In the bathroom, we have a lock for the door. You lift it up, hang it over the screw here. These panels are reversible, there's a mirror. They could also on the back side switch it around if you just wanted the white panel showing out. It's a wet bath, toilet, 
and shower combined. Pull the shower curtain across. It covers the gap by the door. It covers the hinge as well. And then you could shower in here when you're done. You could towel it down, dry it off. Little sink, shower wand with a few different spray patterns, waterproof light, and then the bathroom mirror, and a little bar here, as well as a toilet paper holder, which will be covered when the curtain comes across when you're showering. We have storage above the cab area, table socket, we have a, a fuse panel here above the driver's seat, a little rack here for additional storage, cup holders, we have a 12 volt auxiliary here. A quiet engine. There's also a cab blind system that this pulls across. It's on a, um, a spring mechanism. And when you get it across, there's a Velcro strip here behind the mirror and one on the bottom. And then you can bring this side across. And the rest of the area does have a privacy curtain. Now, Road Track does supply that goes into the Velcro strips here for the side windows. A little ashtray, cigarette lighter. USB, you could lock and unlock the doors from here. You could uh, turn the hazards on. Skate control, you got your um, fog lamps, all your heating and air conditioning controls. When you put the vehicle in reverse, you also have the backup camera. And then this also has the built-in TomTom navigation. This also has a tow haul mode when you're towing a trailer, it changes the way the transmission shifts downshifts differently and goes into overdrive a little bit later to help you get the torque and power you need. And this is also uh, a touch screen and you also have uh, push button controls as well. It's loading the map right now. Steering wheel also has some controls for volume, answering phone calls, Gauges are easy to see. You have a tachometer and a uh, speedometer, odometer. It goes up to 120 miles. Obviously, the max speed is, is not that, and I wouldn't recommend going that fast in this vehicle. But there's plenty of leg room here for me. Well, we're excited to have this vehicle. We did wait a long time for road track to develop this and get it out in the market, but I'm very happy with the quality of it and the overall design and style. If you're interested in purchasing one of these vehicles, we're here at Colonial RV in Lakewood, New Jersey. Our website is www.colonialrv.com. Our telephone number here is 1-800-265-9019. My name is Patrick, I'd love to talk to you. Hope to hear from you soon. Please like this video, comment, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'd love it. We'll see you soon.